Hello everybody, and welcome to another Blazion Gaming video. Now, as you can tell by the intro before this, I made a new intro for the channel. L did you see how beautiful it was? I paid money for that. <laughs> I, I paid with my hard-earned money with that for that intro. Uh, but anyways, I hope you liked it. Um, but in today's video, or in the last video here on the Blazion channel, I played Grand Theft Auto 4 for the Xbox 360, and I hunted down some drugs for a lady, and then I had to fight off some people, and I mean a lot of people. So if you want to go check that video out, it'll be at the top of this video. Also, I made a video on the Trace Parks channel where I played WWE All-Stars for the Wii. If you want to go check that video out, it'll be up at the top as well. And, and... I made a new channel, a new gaming channel, uh, Black Knight, where I played, I did a video on there where I played Mortal Kombat 11, and it was pretty fun. I started the Let's Play of that, so go subscribe and check out that video up here, wherever it is, because this thing's going to be flipped, and I don't know where it is. But in today's video, I am going to be continuing a Let's Play series that I started back last summer. And it's actually going to be officially the only game that I'm going to be playing on this channel. Because, as I mentioned in the Black Knight video, I am, I'm only playing one game on each channel. I have not announced what I'm going to be playing on the Trapper Gaming channel yet as one game. But you'll find out when we get there. But today, in this episode, or episode 4, we're gonna be in episode 4 of the Smackdown Here Comes the Pain series with Matt Rickson, the man himself. Uh, his career has been kind of mostly downward spiraled. Uh, he lost, in the last episode, he lost uh, his girl, his woman manager. If you want to go check out the last video of, or the last episode of that series, it'll be up here. I did that back in November of last year and he lost his woman manager and he lost in a match once again and then I fought as Tori Wilson and lost to Sable so that was wonderful I guess but the career of Matt Rickson seems to be continuing to go downward and I don't know if there will ever be any upward in his career we'll find out if today is the episode for his career to actually rise without any further ado Let's get started. Okay, so we're here in SmackDown. Here comes the pain. We're about to continue the career of Matt Rickson. The most important career in WWE history. Probably not. because he. I mean, it's going to be important because he keeps losing all the time. But, like I said, we lost our manager, Tori Wilson. And now we don't know what we're going to do with our lives. Uh, I don't know what Matt Rickson is going to do with his life now, his career. We're about to find out. It is, we're still on SmackDown, like we were from the beginning. Uh, go watch the other episodes of SmackDown, of the SmackDown Here Comes the Pain Let's Play, and you'll see what happened. But we're still on SmackDown, because uh, we got drafted, or I put us on SmackDown. It is the fourth week of May, 2002, uh, I, I believe. And we are in Tupelo, Mississippi. Let's see what happens in the career of Matt Rickson. Anything gonna happen? I don't know. I just heard the music start playing. Okay, nothing happens. We're going right into it. So, okay. So, let's see who's backstage. We always look. Nobody. All right, so nobody's back here, uh, which is great because then I don't have to get beat up by Goldberg like I did in the one episode that I did. He's about to go for the jackhammer. He's about to go for the jackhammer. I'm gonna die. Oh, crap. Yep, there we go. Get out! Come on! I didn't stand a chance anyways. <laughs> Alright, well let's take a look and see. There's nothing really else to look at. Well, let's take a look and see if we're on the card or not. We'll just have to see. I don't know if we're going to be, uh, and we're not. So, we're going to see the U.S. title on the line. Chris Benoit versus Edge. We got Undertaker and Chavo versus Lesnar and Big Show. That's a weird match. And then Rico and Ultimo Dragon versus Tajiri and Sean O'Hare. Okay. Got some interesting matches on this episode of SmackDown. We're just going to move right past these because I'm not on the show. So I wonder if I'll be on any of the shows. Oh, we are in on Judgment Day. I believe this is 
Well, no, because Backlash was a pay-per-view, and that's when I got beat up by Goldberg backstage at Backlash. So we're going to see what happens. We're in Nashville, Tennessee for Judgment Day. Let's see what happens here, and it looks like something's going to happen? I guess so. Look at the stage. Oh, man, the explosions. <laughs> we got the bamboo sticks. <laughs> And the stage, yeah! <laughs> Alright! I don't even think I'm gonna be on this show. Cause I lost, uh, my, my, my whammon and Tori Wilson, so... Is there anyone backstage? Uh, no we don't, thank goodness, because I don't... And even if they were, I probably would not talk to them, because I would get killed. I talked to Kurt Angle in the last episode, and I actually made a friend with him. It's great. He's my buddy now. So let's see what's on the Judgment Day card here. Uh, we've got the tag titles with the Dudleys versus Michaels and Nash. We've got Lesnar and Undertaker for the WWE title, and Triple H in The Rock for the World Heavyweight title. What a card. What a card for Judgment Day. Lesnar retains the world title, the Dudleys retain the tag titles, and Triple H retains... Everyone retains the belts. Everyone retains their titles at Judgment Day. So far, nothing has really happened except for the fact that I'm just watching other people's careers flourish, and mine's, I'm just sitting back and catering, watching everything happen. Alright, so we are starting the beginning of June in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, on SmackDown. Are we going to be on the show today? We've went two weeks without being in WWE programming. We've, we've got to be on here somewhere. Oh, we got Jim Ross coming up to us. Hey, uh... Matt, this is my hometown, you know. There is a great bunch of people in this city, and you're going to hear them tonight. <laughs> you must be really excited. Have a good show, all right? Thanks. I will call your match with all my might. Okay, so we're going to have a match, I'm guessing, in JR's hometown of Oklahoma City. And I can only imagine who we're going to be facing in that one. Uh, probably either Steven Richards or Tajiri. Because those are the only two people that I seem to face every time I do these episodes. So we're about to find out who my opponent is going to be on this episode of the Let's Play here. Of the career of Matt Rickson. Eddie Guerrero? <laughs> Why? <laughs> you're, you're putting me through more... And that's the main event. People, that's the main event of the show is me and Eddie Guerrero. Okay, well we got Lita and Sable and Kurt Angle and Shelton Benjamin. Whatever, man, this is rigged. Me versus Eddie Guerrero. I'm not ready to feel the Latino heat, but, you know, you already fed me to Jerry and Steven Richards and I lost. You fed me to G or Steven Richards twice and I lost. So, I don't understand anymore. And here comes the boy himself. SmackDown's biggest loser. Matt Rickson. He is 0-3 in the WWE. If you want to count Tori Wilson's match, he's 0-4. Because <laughs> he lost his whammon. But now he's ready to face Latino Heat himself. But guess what? I'm not. I haven't played this game in such a long time that I don't remember... I, I'm just going to hit buttons because I don't really remember what to hit. <laughs> We're going to do our best. I'm actually going to try to get an actual victory. Oh! Oh man, no Eddie, no! Oh man, he's already whooping me, man. And I, I, he just grabbed me at the first chance he got. Get up, get up. Okay, dude, can I get some actual offense here, bro? Let me have a chance. Let me, let me get a chance, dude. What is wrong with you? Come here. What are you do? Gosh, what are you doing? I was trying to grab you, and then you just ran away. Okay, I think I'm done here, because this dude has literally manhandled me this entire match. He's already got a, sign uh, a signature move, and I can't even, like... We're just going everywhere. <laughs> yep, he's already got the... It's a, oh, it's a submission? Don't tap! Don't tap! We just started this match, and I haven't got one single bit of offense. Okay, get up. Stop! Yeah, baby! Yes, baby. Oh, arm drag. Come on. Come on, baby. Yes. Kick to the back of the head. Let's go. Oh, it kicked off of me. Go, get him. Get him. Yes, baby. Kick to the back of the head. 
Bam. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Rope break. Come on, man. You gotta do better than that. You gotta do better than that, Matt. Oh, my goodness. Oh, gosh. It was like a tornado. Get up, Matt. What are you doing? Do something with Eddie, man. Eddie has been manhandling you this entire match. I've only gotten like two or three times where I've actually got offense, and it's annoying. Oh gosh, oh man, elbow drop. I'm pretty sure the crowd just said Eddie sucked, so... Maybe that's good. Yeah, thanks for the rope break there, ref. The one that actually needed to happen. How do I reverse out of these things, man? Let me actually get an opportunity here, because like... I think this whole series is just going to be me whining about how I can't do anything. I'm literally trying my best, but the dude's like literally got every off offensive advantage. Yeah, rope break. You picked the wrong spot, dude. No. Okay, I kicked out. Good. Get up. We're not done. I just tried to grab you. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, dude. This is like the worst match that I think he's had in his career. At least I actually had a chance against Steven Richards and Jerry. I haven't even got one single bit of offense in this entire match. Dude, let me have... Let me have a chance! <laughs> Dude, this guy's too quick, man. I have no, like... I have no chance. Like, I literally am acting as fast as I possibly can. And I have not done anything. Get up! Get off the ground! You suck. Get him. Let's go. Headlock. Grab Eddie! There we go. Boom. Dude, no. No, you have a chance. Stop acting like a wimp. Boom, drop kick, baby. Oh, he moved. Oh, I just hit the ref. I hit the ref again. I hit the ref like two or three times. Surprisingly, that wasn't a disqualification. Oh, no, not the tornado. Oh, my goodness. Get up, Matt. Get up! Oh, the ref's not... The ref's not counting! The ref's not counting! The ref wasn't even counting there. The ref was not even counting that pin. That's the first time that I think that's ever happened. He's gonna put me in the submission. That ain't gonna work, though. Yeah, get this, Eddie. Oh! Oh! Oh, Braun Breaker move! I didn't even know I could do that! Braun Breaker move, baby! Oh, got the chin lock. Matt Rixon with the chin lock. Get this boy. Get Eddie. Yeah, get Eddie back for all the stuff he's done. Let's go. Let's go. Chin lock, baby. I don't care. I don't care what you say, ref. Oh! Oh, I just elbowed him in the back of the head. It's probably the best thing I've ever done. Oh, the chop. Not the chop by Eddie. Oh, drop kick to the back of the head again. Boom. Pin him, baby. Let's go. That was a rope break. That was my fault. Oh! He blocked my punch. Hit him! Yes! Get him now. Are you serious? Where is the place where I can hit him or whatever? Now. Pin him now. Pin him now. That is not a pin. That's a chin lock. <laughs> I'm trying to pin this sucker. Pin him! Not the chin lock! Get him, baby. Yes! Bra Breaker style! Yes! Pin that boy! No, stop acting like a wimp! Pin him now! You had your chance, dummy! Oh my gosh! Come on, Matt. Come on, Ricky boy. Come on! Get off your butt! Oh, he's doing the Three Amigos thing now. Oh, man. Kick I'm, I'm, I'm done with this game. I am literally done. <laughs> I actually did a lot better that time, except the, the dumb thing is, is every time I tried to go for a pin, it didn't even go to, it didn't go to a one, a two, it was a rope break about every single time. Whatever. I, I, I saw that coming, like I, like I said before, I knew it was not fair. I guess I'm not really welcomed here by this crowd. Well then, I'm going to introduce your hometown hero to you. Come on up to the ring, JR. I want to give the fans what they want. What do they really want? 
Go up there, JR. I'd rather not. You don't want a standing ovation from your hometown, JR? Alright then, I'm going down there. Hey, he's coming over here. What in the world does he. Oh! Oh, he's beating him up! What? Why is he doing this? Ma oh, Rip Matt Rickson, help! Goodness, are you alright, JR? Oh man, Vince McMahon just beat up JR. And Matt Rickson comes to save the day. Your boy has saved the day. He saved J. Well, I guess he saved JR's life. He could have. Well, I don't even know if he could have gotten beat up worse, but. He got beat up by his own boss. Oh, we're backstage now. Okay, I'm just walking. What's going on now? Oh! That's Sean O'Hare! You're on the list for the international tour? The fans will be laughing at the WWE if you go. Fortunately, you're not going anywhere, because tonight I'm going to kick your bohonkus. Well, that's lovely. He's going to kick my bohonkus. So now we got to deal with Sean O'Hare, and I'm not excited about that. Uh, he's going to kick our booty. Is this going to be another Goldberg situation? So Sean O'Hare is now attacking me because he thinks the WWE fans will laugh at me that I'm... Oh, he took the... Oh, gosh, he took the ref! He took the ref! He took the ref! <laughs> oh, he ran me over with the motorcycle! Oh, my gosh! What is going on? So Sean O'Hare wants to take me out of the European tour, it seems like. And I can't seem to get out of this dude's grasp. He is literally committing homicide right now in that motorcycle. This is ridiculous. Get up. Yeah, get off. Yeah, baby. Yeah, it's not your day, Sean. It's not your day, Sean. Not today, boy. Not today, boy. Not today, man. Arm drag. Yeah, you think that motorcycle's so great? Oh, man, I just got... Knee buster to the gut. Gut buster there. Let me try to get on that motor. Oh, man. He's about to hit the finisher on me. Oh, man. Oh. Get up. Get up. Get up. We're not done. We're not done, baby. Oh, yeah. Pin him, boy. Pin him, boy. Not the chin. Why do you go for the chin lock? Stop. Ah, oh, crap. Get, get on him. Get Spider Boy down. Get Spider Boy down. Why do all these people have to whip my rear end? Oh, man. Oh. Get up. I haven't done any damage to Sean O'Hare. He's just ran me over with a motorcycle a billion times. There you go. Pin him. Pin him, boy. Yes! Oh, that's the closest I've ever gotten in my life. Pin, baby. Let's go. Oh, okay. With the leg. That works. Whatever. Whatever works to inflict pain on Sean O'Hare. Get him. Oh, not now. No, not now. Come on. No, not the critical. Not the smackdown. Not the finisher. Come on. Ah! Oh, there we go, baby. Let's go. Not in my house, baby. Not in my house, Sean. Pin bit. Oh, just punches. That works. Oh, man. Hit him. Yes. Get down. What am I What am I doing? Take him out! What are you doing? Every time I try to go for the pin, he's like, nah, I'm gonna do a chin lock or something. I'm gonna do something very innovative. You know? Oh, gosh! That's gotta do it. Oh, come on! He just low blowed me! Come on, that was my chance. I'm, like, dead, bro. Get up. Get up, Rickson. What is wrong with you? Ah! Come on, Rickson, get up. Get up, Ricky boy. Dude, this guy likes hitting me in the crotch. I don't know what's wrong with him. I can't do anything. I have not been able to do anything in this match. Like, for the last, like, couple of seconds, I've not done anything! <laughs> I don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> I just lost my fifth match. You want to call that a match? I lost my fifth one. But I gained, like, a bunch of money from it, so... I guess that works. But I've lost every single thing that I've done. Would you want to call that a success, a great career or whatever? I have no idea.
Uh, I've I've been going downhill ever since. I've lost about every match that I've done. Matt Rickson is not doing so great. I don't know why he's still in the WWE for some reason. They still signed him. He's, Vince McMahon's trying to get into his head. I don't know. Okay, Sean O'Hare doesn't like me. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to end it right there. Um, we are on the second week of June in Atlanta at the moment. And that's where we will pick up when I come back with this Let's Play series again. Like I said, I'm going to be playing this game on this channel. Just this game until I finish the game. Whether that be only one year after, or the, after WrestleMania is when I'll stop it. Or... Um, I'll continue another year, but most likely I'm probably going to play this until after Wrestlemania because this guy's career, if it's going the way that it is, he shouldn't be here. He shouldn't be in the company after Wrestlemania, to be honest. But that's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Matt Rickson lost to Eddie Guerrero, which is a stupid match anyways. Vince McMahon attacked JR, and I came to the rescue to save him. And I got attacked backstage by Sean O'Hare. And he ended up beating my booty like he said he would. So, it is what it is. Uh, Y'all have to come back and see what happens next in the career of Matt Rickson. But if you like this video, leave a like down below. Comment what game I should play next after I play SmackDown Here Comes the Pain. And subscribe to the Blazion channel. My name is Trey Sparks and I'll see you guys in the next... Career of Matt Rickson, gaming episode. Bye-bye.